Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 12th of June. Trumpy is in Singapore signing documents with North Korea. Wow. Not really sure what to make of all of that, so we'll just say that it's over. We'll see what the pundits say, whether this was a success or not. Dollar Yen is through the 200-day moving average, and that's important. Let's see here, it comes in at 16. We're recommending longs, stop at 09 uh, for a test of this high up here, probably over FOMC 111.43. With that in mind, we also like Dollar Swiss. Again, it's sort of a pre FOMC trade. The high yesterday was 73. We're just through that high now, 74. We think it gets an interesting through the figure. Get a lot of highs here 90, 88, 95. And then we got this one guy here at 12. You really want just sort of over 12 actually but you want it through the figure an hour to close through the figure and it's on for dollar swiss no reason dollar swiss shouldn't go back to well, one this week euro swiss goes a little bit higher when ecb marginally tightens dollar swiss goes higher when the fed raises um, this should be a nice recipe for higher dollar swiss what else is out there? Looking at these equities. We talked about it yesterday. We're waiting patiently for this 28.10 area. We will be fading equities. We're assuming we're going to make a new high up here and it's going to look pretty bullish. Uh, so we're mentally preparing for that. Obviously, we don't normally fade things um, at extremes like this. We're more momentum style traders, but. We're going to play this um, with a stop above 28.80. So it's it's a 3% stop. You've got to price it accordingly. If you have to trade minis, trade minis. If you have to trade bigs, make sure you size it accordingly for the correct stop loss. And we're going to start trading core short um, from 28.10. What else? Let's look at the cable here. We've got this big vote today in the House of Lords. It's, uh, yeah, it's not really super clear to me what the hell is going to happen to cable and how this vote's going to go. So I'll just tell you right now the chart is interesting below 50. You see, we've had these 47s and so it looks pretty bearish below 50. If you're if you're just trading without this House of Lords crap in there, uh, you're a seller. Again, you're looking for higher rates uh, in the U.S. U.K. is obviously a mess, according to the Western media at least, and does it passes the eye test? It looks like it's a mess. Uh, Brexit, the whole thing is a mess. So, I don't know, we're staying away from cable today for now, but through 133.50, it's starting to look pretty bad, and, and easily say we're, we're going to test these 132.08 lows. So, that's cable for you. Euro dollar, not doing a ton here. No trade in Euro dollar. We're just watching it. You could argue that it should end up lower this week with the U.S. being more hawkish than the ECB, but we don't see a very clear pattern or setup there, so we're just going to leave it alone. And then the commodity currencies. Again, it's middle of nowhere, this Aussie, so there's not much to do with that. Kiwi. No idea why you'd want to buy it through 60, but it's not a bad little uh, technical point. You got to keep in mind this is lurking above here at 71.20, the 200 day. Um, I guess if we're risk on and there's some positive Kiwi data, this could be interesting, but not really a focus of ours. 
Dollar CAD, little bit of a focus through this 40. Again, there's all kinds of BS on the trade side and, and uh, what we're going to do with Canada. This is going to have to be, I think, data driven for it to work. There's always been, there's been big sellers the last two weeks, as everyone knows, on the 130 handle, so it's going to take a push to get through there. But we will keep it in mind, 130.40. Again, not a focus. Our focus is on dollar yen and dollar Swiss today. But we will uh, have one eye open for dollar CAD. Quickly to cryptos. Bitcoin is easing into our buy zone here. Same deal. 62, 52. We're even going to have 42s in. 4200s in. It looks like... Uh, we're getting ready for some one capitulation wipeout here. So just be prepared for it. Again, mentally prepare for it. Price your bids with the idea that this is winding up for a puke. Um, but we want to be able to take advantage of that puke because we, we do believe Bitcoin is not going away. We do believe in Bitcoin. Um, and so trying to get cheap ones and getting your average down below 2,000 is uh, still the plan. Alright, I'll leave you guys with that, and I will see you at the New York Open. Ciao.